challenges and how we uh, got to meet with OSM and you know how we use OSM. So Roadbotics, uh, we are a visual analysis company for roads. So we uh, take video data of roads using cell phones. We then analyze that data. We break it down into images for every about 10 foot of road segment. Uh, we then analyze those we using machine learning algorithm uh, spun out of CMU. Uh, we analyze that data, turn it around in a 30 day period, and we spit it back out onto a map uh, that uses OSM data. Uh, so as Ryan was saying earlier, um, a lot of what we do, if not all of what we do, really relies on up-to-date OpenStreetMap data. Um, we, we obviously are robotics, so we focus a lot on the roads. Uh, we've done work all over the world, uh, internationally now in 15 countries, uh, if not more, I think this week, I think more partners have signed. So, uh, we're all over the place, analyzed, you know, thousands of miles of roadway. Uh, but talking to all of our clients, um, you know, all over the, the globe, uh, we found that they said, okay, you analyze the road, but what about you know, everything else. How about the sidewalks? You know, there, there's more than just the roadway that needs to be assessed and they need to, you know, improve and, and maintain. Uh, so that's when we started looking outside of the roadway. We started looking at sidewalks. And when I started looking into sidewalks, uh, I just found uh, in OSM, uh, when starting to map these areas, there just seems to be a general lack of sidewalks. And I said, okay, well, if there's no sidewalk data, how does that play into, you know, accessibility as a whole? Um, so we ended up, we spoke with, uh, Matt was saying, Matt Mercurio, also from Pittsburgh, um, was talking, I think we're talking about the same company here down towards the bottom. There are some efforts that exist to capture sidewalk data already. Uh, one, using OSM, I discovered WheelMap, doing some uh, preliminary research for this, um, where they uh, gather wheelchair and accessibility information, uh, put that into OpenStreetMap as a whole, Pathview uses uh, a lot of ArcGIS. So they're taking ArcGIS data, uh, mapping these sidewalks, and they've developed an actual um, an index that you're able to rate uh, a sidewalk fair poor uh, or needs, needs repaired. Um, so they're taking their data, putting it into ArcGIS. WheelMap is taking OSM data and using that. Uh, but I really wanted to sort of, I guess, kick off the conversation um, with a few questions. Uh, just here. So, you know, how is accessibility information useful and valuable uh, to the users of OSM? So not only, uh, you know, robotics, where we're looking to take sidewalk data and display that to users to, you know, display whether or not a sidewalk needs repair, if it is actually accessible, does this have a curb ramp? Um, you know, how, how would that information be used, uh, not only by, you know, a, a a company reason, but also a user's reason. People like WheelMap, um, Pathview has their own app that their users uh, use for, like Matt was saying, uh, you know, pathfinding for those uh, who are not able-bodied. So how is this information valuable to OSM itself, uh, as well as its users? Um, and then also, you know, sparking the discussion, what are the best practices to add sidewalk data? Uh, you know, Finding the, the wiki page, or the, uh, exploring around the wiki page, it seems to be a lot of just tagging, whether or not a sidewalk is on the left or right, if it's on both sides of a highway, you know, using different attribute tags. Uh, but how can we make it, I don't know, easier to identify uh, that there is a sidewalk present in, say, a neighborhood, any, any sort of town square, anything of that? Um, does it have to remain an attribute? Can it be some sort of uh, segment, uh, segmented data, anything of that matter? And then what other kinds of accessibility information is missing? You know, obviously the, the one that jumps out is, you know, ramps. Um, is this wheelchair accessible? Uh, is this accessible to, to everybody? Um, but I'm also interested in just improving the OpenStreetMap map and, you know, the accessibility world uh, as a whole. So I'm sure there are plenty of other areas where we can, uh, you know, help to improve. And so when I said it was bare bones, I really meant it because that is my, uh, my last slide here. So, you know, I can leave these questions up and we can sort of use them as talking points. Um, what, do you, what do we think? 